Hey guys, and welcome back to Medal of Honor. Now it's been quite a little while since I've played this. Um, the last mission we did, fuck my ass and call me Charlie. I can't remember what the last mission we did was. Oh, it was aboard the ship, I think, if I remember correctly. Anyway, this next mission that we have to embark on is a bit of a dick. It's... It is quite hard when it wants to be. Um, there are exactly uh, 69 enemies to kill. And they can be tricky to find if uh, if you're not 100% sure where they are. But I'm fairly confident. Also, this level is quite hard. The uh, enemies are starting to get SMGs now. And there's lots. Oh my god, guys. There is lots of uh, gun turrets. But it's okay. We got this. This is the latest reconnaissance from the Siegfried line. Now that Montgomery's attempt at a shortcut has failed, we're going to have to get through Germany the hard way. This is the Moselle River near Metz. And this is Fort Schmerzen, which is proving to be one tough mm -hmm. nut to crack. Thick concrete walls, artillery, machine gun emplacements, dragon's teeth. It's a briar patch of German defenses. Now, what you see in the recon is only the tip of the iceberg. These forts go incredibly deep, sometimes four or five levels down into the earth. They're completely self-sustaining. They have their own command and control centers, radio rooms, supply bays, dormitories, and kitchens. Jerry can stay down there for weeks, even months at a time. And of all these fortifications, Schmerzen is the biggest of the lot. While we've been able to knock out some of the smaller forts, Schmerzen has remained impenetrable. They keep pouring resources of men and equipment into it, even though it doesn't make much tactical sense now that we can effectively flank the position. Unless, that is, something sinister is going on down Ooh. there that we don't know about. And that is what is scaring us. I'll be honest with you, son. You're not the first agent we've tried to send Delightful. in there. But it's imperative that we find out what the Germans are up to. So that's why I have personally assigned you this mission. The Nazis are hiding something deep inside Fort Schmerzen. And my gut tells me it's something mm -hmm. bad. Off to Fort Schmerzen. <laughs> I love that name. That's brilliant. Um, Simper D T something. Some... French stuff, basically. It's good to see you again, my friend. It's been a few months since we last spoke. I've been away on some missions of my own. But now it's time to get, as you Americans say, down to business. Fort Smirchen, Smirchen is going to be one very tough assignment. She's not kidding. Uh, I should know. I once worked there. What? First things first. Schmerzen is boarded on all sides by thick forests filled with wild animals and booby traps. The soldiers who work there never wander far from the main roads. You best do the same. All of Schmerzen's entry points are fortified against a major frontal assault, so the razor wire and multiple gun emplacements are more than a match for even you, mon ami. Fortunately, some of the bunkers have secret hatches that lead directly to the fort. An old friend of mine will leave a crowbar for you outside one of the gates. Use it to pry a hatch open. Finally, something odd showed up on the recon. What appeared to be a Stuka dive bomber was parked out in the middle of the forest. It was probably just a smudge on the lens, but check it out anyway. Yeah, hmm, a Stuka shaped smudge on the lens. Ha. Huh. Probably nothing. You know. But we'll give it a look over anyway, just to be sure. Stukas were interesting planes. They were ground attack, useless uh, in air to air. Uh, but they were devastating during the opening acts of the war. Later on, the Allies uh, easily dealt with them, but uh, they were nasty. Hey, buddy. I see you're also. Oh, you got a friend. Both of you. Out for a stroll in the woods. Well, how romantic. Let me uh, put you 
to the proverbial sword. Yeah, they were terrifying. Um, oh, hello. Hey, buddy. You're also out for a... Look at all these Germans having a little walk in the woods. Isn't this adorable? Well, let's put them down. So we have 69 enemies <laughs> to put down in this level. And this level's quite long and big as well. <laughs> but I think I've got a good handle on it. And look at this sly little Jerry hiding up there. Who's shooting me now? Hey, Fritz. Ooh. Wait. What? Who? Where? Oh, God. We got nades. We got nades. I don't... Whoa. Holy fuck. He just roasted himself. He just gave himself a Darwin Award. That's fine. Alright. Well, let's go grab this medicinal canteen. Have a drop of scotch. You know what I'm saying. Just swig back granddad's old cough medicine. Makes us feel better. There we go. Not bad. Totally forgot about that guy. Oh dear. That doesn't bode well, does it? What else is... Th what is this? Ah, another medicinal canteen. Nice. Now we get the Thompson machine gun in this level. The Thompson's really cool. Uh, it is powerful. But it only has a 20 round magazine, which... Yeah, it's not great, let's be honest. 20 round magazine is not a lot of fun. And the reload on it is quite lengthy too. Hey Fritz! Sorry to ruin your day. But you need to die! Yep. Yeah. Damn, son. This guy in the MG. Now, there are so many MGs on this level. It is frightening. There we go. Ah, Fritz has had enough. Excellent. Ooh, field surgeon pack. We're not going to grab that just yet. Nice. Good to know. Ah, and there's a canteen there. Sweet. So we do have, like, a massive healing pack there if we need it. Let's switch up to the... Thompson for now, the Chicago typewriter. It's a shame you don't get a drum magazine for this bad boy. Hey, pal! Yeah, Thompson is just so good. The rate of fire on it is really nice as well. Hey, friendo! Just shoot through the trees. The trouble is, though... Ooh, okay. Grenades! Oh, one hit kill, so bear that. Oh god, someone's really getting them out. So bear that in mind. Let's head back here a minute. See if any of them are going to follow me. I don't think there's any secret passages in this tree line. Secret passages are kind of everywhere on this level. Is there anything good in here? Yeah, medicinal canteen. Nice. We'll have it. Now, which knob jockey's chucking nades at me? Well, looks like he... Oh, him. Hello, friendo. That's the end of him. And there's another med kit there, which is quite nice. Right, let's hold on to the shotgun for now. We're going to lean on this puppy. Ooh. Hello. Good thing we had the shotgun. Excellent weapon for taking a walk in the woods at night. Especially when you're hunting the Germans, apparently. Really good. Nice. We shall call this Sausage Bane. Because we know those Germans like their sausages. Okay, let's grab that. I don't think there's like any secret spots down here. But there might be. It's been a little while since I played this level, so don't want to leave anything to chance. But I do know where the level ends, so we can just check. Make sure we've got enough kills. Excellent. Alright. Let's grab the old rifle. Oh, nice. Yum. How the hell we're not pissed out of our brain? Oh, hello. 
Shouldn't really be walking around alone. Ooh. Oh, hello. These guys are really sly. Although they do look pretty cozy up there on their little platforms. I think half of them are falling asleep. I guess that's why we're picking them off so easily. More SMG ammo. Nice, nice. We do like our SMG. Let's have a little walk around. Yeah, the Thompson's a lethal weapon. 45 caliber. That um, is quite a terrifying weapon when you consider it's rate of fire. I guess that's why it had such a small magazine, though. Okay, of course, you could get the drum magazine and turn it into what's commonly known as, or has been dubbed a Tommy gun or a Chicago typewriter. Oh, hello. We've got Fritz. Fritz and Jerry hiding in the bushes. Let's commandeer this gun. Get rid of him. Yeah, okay. Not much going on tonight. Anybody? Nope, we're good. Cool. Yeah, good thing to jump on that gun because like you don't want to run into these guns. Oh, hello. Lower my weapon. How about I stick my weapon down your throat and you swallow the contents? Well, that could uh, be taken the wrong way. Okay, let's go. Yeah, uh, the... MGs in this destroy you. They are really, really worry worrisome weapons. Oh god. It literally only takes about a second of sustained fire from an SMG to kill you. Now remember, there are no save points here. There are no checkpoints. There's nothing like that. You die, you die. All the way back to the beginning of the level. Ah, here we go. Damn it. You're getting stuck on trees. Ooh, medicinal canteen there. Lovely. There's actually quite a lot of health on this level. And that's good. Because. Ah, lovely. Because we're going to need it. We're seriously going to need it. Especially as when I'm uh, actually recording. Ooh, fuck. Hello, pal. I tend not to concentrate very hard. Like, when I'm playing this on my own and not, like, jibbing away, like a diseased monkey, I do, I, I always do much better. Which is why I could never speedrun Resident Evil game with live commentary. Just could not do it. Come on, Fritzel. Good boy. Enjoy your death. Okay, cool. What's next? Uh, okay, now. Let's go this way. It's very easy as well to miss some enemies. Hello, friendo. If you go down to the woods tonight, you're going to run into me. Then you're going to be dead. So, remember that, Fritzy. And oh, we can't, you're dead. Bugger. Okay, well, tell the others. Oh, you can't, you're dead. Yeah. Unfortunate. This place is clear. Cool. Alright. Let's just keep travelling down here, see what we've got. Oh, yes. Let's go have a little look at that smudge on the lens. Uh, well, that looks like a Stuka. Yeah, come on, Peterson. Here we go. Oh, it's so hard. So hard to actually get up and over there. So, we definitely have a Stuka here. She's prepped, but why would this place have a Stuka? Just one. What would they be planning to do? Boom! Damn you and your awesome piss-pot German helmets. Yeah. Another machine gun up here, but... We spray the area. Hopefully, some of these bullets will go through. There we go. Notice that you can actually like cheese it and shoot through those, which is quite nice. Me like. All right. Uh, we could go back, I suppose. 
Let's go back. We could just jump over the wall, but we don't need to. Uh, let's get the old uh, brain burster out. Um, we could go this way. We do need to, no, no, I think that's actually the right way to go if we go that way. We need to go check out the Stuka and take it out. We need to break its wings through liberal use of bullets. Bullets solves all of our problems. Okay. All right. This place looks clear. Clear for now. Don't know how many shotgun shells this thing takes. Not many. Ooh, med kit there that we don't need. Now, you can actually just pepper it with the machine gun from up there, but we've got, like, so much ammo, it doesn't really matter. Talking of ammo, let's go grab that Kraut's gun. We could really use the bullets. Yep. Come on. Up. Oh. Whoa. Look at the textures there. Gun's bent. No wonder he couldn't hit me. Tosser. Alright, well, oh, some nades there. We'll have them. Yoink. Let's crack this door open. Hello? Mr. Germans? You're dead. Alright. One dead kraut. We've got another medicinal canteen there, which is rather wonderful. We need to be careful here. Yes. Yes, this is where our crowbar is. But, this is also where there are some machine guns. Let's snipe them. Alright, he should be dead. Now, charging up against both of them. Oh, fuck. Okay, maybe he's not. Maybe he's not. Just going to keep volleying bullets in. Fuck you, Krauty bastard. Your mum's a sausage and your dad's a cabbage. Oh, God. There's another one. Huh? Let's do what we always do saturate the area with fire from our rifle. Ah, there we go. Um, Now, we've got a crowbar and a field surgeon kit. I don't really need the field surgeon kit. So we'll leave that there for now. Let's put the rifle back. And carry on down this passage. Evening, Fritzel! And then we're going to quickly step back. Because we have another nest here. Holy crap, guys. They like... They like their fortifications here. Saturate the target with fire. Is that it? It is hard to tell. Well, we've got plenty of bullets, so don't spare the horses. Alright, let's grab up this stuff. Nice. Patch ourselves up. Ooh, hello. Sit the fuck down, pal. And you. Alright, this is the way that we actually need to go. And this is a horrible bit, actually. What are we up to? 42 kills. This bit is a pain in the dick. Oh, see that guy? See that? See that sly little turd? Holding on to his machine gun for dear life. I do wish you could destroy these machine guns. Sad. Oh, okay, that hurts. Come on. Come on. This is why there's so... Why is my aimer... Oh, should I... My aimer. My cursor. It's rising. Okay, I don't know why it was doing that. Um, Yeah, we're going to leave that there. Let's go get one of those field surgeon kits. Now, what are we up to? 44 confirmed kills. Uh, I don't think I've missed anywhere. Let's have a little look around, though. If we... Grab a little swig out of that bad boy. And grab a field surgeon kit. 
we should be good to go. Now, we do need, yeah, there's one there, but we're going to leave him there. We do need to check another area out. And that area, um, actually, instead of grabbing a field surgeon kit, let's just grab this, because we've still got, like, another hard-ass bit coming up. Um, let's go back. So I think there's an area that we've missed. There's an area in the woods that has another field surgeon kit in it. Not that we want that, but if we go sit in the area that's got it, enemies spawn. Three enemies spawn. And those enemies can really fuck you up. Because if you don't know about it, it's quite a little secret. It did take me a couple of playthroughs to realise what the fuck was going on. It's down here. I think. Yeah. See this here. If you... If you don't come down here, we'll have three enemies charge us now. If you don't come down here, you cannot get more than one star. That's two. Sons of bitches, that's only two. Grab the nades. Didn't really want the field surgeon pack, but there's so many, we should be fine. I oh, know, that was three there. Okay, 47. We should be somewhere where we need to be. Right, let's go back. Those three enemies... Um, oh, there's another medkit there. Those three enemies really tripped me up uh, when I was playing this. They are really fucking dirty. Developers, man. Fucking assholes. But yeah, I mean, like, seriously, that is so easy to overlook. But it doesn't matter. Nothing gets past Mr. Patterson here. He has balls of steel. Which is good. Because where we're going, we're going to need balls of steel. There's another med pack there. We're going to leave that there. Well, we have to leave it there because we can't take it. I'm tempted to play more Medal of Honor games, you know. I mean, obviously... Obviously, we're going to be doing Medal of Honor Underground. But, I'm tempted to look at some of the ones that were on the PlayStation 2 and original Xbox. Because I actually do have fond memories of them. Really do. Another medkit there. We've got we've got a lot of healing, which is good. Because, ah, there's more healing through here, if I remember. Yes. Because the bit coming up is... Naughty, should we say. Grab some more bullets. I like the way, like, in, in one of those massive ammo cans, there is... Yeah, we'll go with that. There is literally uh, one magazine for this gun. Also, I did watch another Let's Play that pointed this out. There's somewhere on the emulator version that he was using anyway. don't know if it actually works on real hardware. Where you can make the you can make the roof disappear and glitch, and you can see through it. Oh, there we go. What was that to? So it does work on real hardware as well. Ha. Huh. Okay, can't make that happen again. Can we get off the ladder? Come on. There we go. How fucking random is that? <laughs> there we go. What? What? Oh, man. Video game quality control. I mean, I don't mind bugs like that. It's the shitty bugs. Where you can't continue the game. They're the bugs I don't like. Now, this is where shit gets a little bit real. Okay, I th think we're good. We can take a fuck ton of damage here. Let's go. Now, what I like about this place, check this map out. 
That's all this map is. Oh, there's a field surgeon kit there. I did not know that. That's all this map is, but you wait, you wait. Because trust me guys, something wicked this way comes. Oh yeah. Sit down. Fuck off. You kraut bastard. Right, let's quickly get up here and grab the gun. Grab the gun. This is flavor country. Seriously. These enemies are going to continuously rush us. There is a lot of them. And they're kind of trapped in the scenery as well, which is worrying. Also, one thing I should mention that sucks massive amounts of donkey penis is those enemies on our right. Believe it or not, they can and they will shoot through the wall. You'll see their gun clip through the wall and they will fire through it. It's really annoying. And it happens way too often. Lower my weapon! No! I say die! You can lower your weapon! As you're digging yourself into the grave. Okay, there should be more enemies. But I'm guessing it's because these two are still alive. Is it? Here we go. I was going to say, there's 69 enemies. We're not at... Oh, no. Don't let them get behind you. Don't let them get behind you because they will creep round. And sometimes, just sometimes, the little fuckers will find the entrance to the bunker and they will creep up behind you and go up the ladder. And you'll be sitting here wondering how you're being shot in the brain. Nice! Drown in your own blood, Jerry. Smoked him. <laughs> like sh hey, 69. Like shooting fish in a barrel. Alright. We didn't even need that med kit. Now, one thing that I always think is quite interesting on this level, if we go all the way back, and by all the way back, I mean actually not that far away. When I was a kid, I didn't think those enemies ever stopped coming. But they do. There's just quite a lot of them. If we go back down here and check this out. There we go. <laughs> and start climbing up the ladder. This will close, but it's not actually closed because we can just like walk through it again. Which is really weird, but we can't go back through it again without opening it. And that's quite typical of this game. If there's um, doors and things that you can open, they if you're not around, they actually shut. And uh, as you walk closer to them, most of them, you can see, just as they draw in in the distance, they will open. Kind of weird. I think it's because, uh, obviously, this game is covered in fog, and only exactly what you see is loaded into the the RAM. you got to remember, the um, the PlayStation only had two megabytes of RAM. So I'm assuming when these areas are uh, despawned, I suppose, or removed from the memory, um, when they're drawn back into the memory, they kind of reset. Anyway, that should be a triple, baby. I say should. Yes, I'm always a little bit nervous on this mission because this mission's a dickhole. Uh, to quote my friend H there, this mission is a dickhole, big time. But we did it. The Siegfried Forest. Right, so let's drop down a save, guys. And with that, we're actually 50% through this game. This game's fairly long. And uh, I'm not even mad about that. I think that's cool. But that is one of the more challenging levels 
from what I remember. I haven't played ahead yet but that's what I intend to do now anyway so thank you very much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed it when we return we're gonna go into the Fort Schmutzen and uh, cause some shitzen I guess anyway guys as always till next time